Greetings, Legionists. Arendelf here. All right, we are back to the Dark Crusade. Okay, and we are in a position to launch our first assault. Um, I believe this is currently... Yeah, yeah, the Necrons freaking swept in and took it just the other day. What the heck? How do I have 2,270 requisition? What the heck? What the heck? When did I get that much? I don't even know. Anyway... Honor Guard, Support Siege Unit, can be upgraded with, yeah, effective, um, yep, yep, all sounds accurate. I was hoping it would have a little bit of lore on it, a lot of them do, that made me sad. Anyway, so we will take this one, let's archive it, alright. The Vandian Coast, a mineral-rich region, Vandia includes several large industrial centers built in the Imperial Era and still in operation. The cities are now underpopulated and polluted, but remain critical to the industrial assets for the Tau. The manufacturing and smeltering plants of the Vandian cities have scarred the landscape and stained the air, making cities valuable but hardly pleasant. So laden snow or acidic rain fall from gray skies year-round. Dang, that got hostile quickly. Um... Production report confidential. I regret to inform you that Vandia Miner Build Plant 27 and 29 will not meet their quotas this cycle. Production is expected to be at 72% and 21% of projections respectively. Explanations follow. Build Plant 27 suffered an unexpected work stoppage and slowdowns due to largely the inclement weather and affected Sector 27 of the city. A meteorologic bottleneck of sorts occurs over the area, making it difficult for environmental agents to disperse and making the sector highly prone to acidic rains. This cycle's rains were the worst in 20 cycles, causing many health problems among the workers. Incentive programs and distribution of stims fail to make up for the decrease in productivity. Build Plant 29 suffered a catastrophic detonation of its central power plant four subcycles ago and has yet to come back online. The repairs have been ongoing since shortly after the detonation, but progress is very slow. I cannot even promise that the plant will be online again next cycle. It seems evident that the detonation at Plant 29 was an intent intentional act of sabotage carried out by the most militant wing of the so-called Vandian Workers' Pact, which, has, which, as previous reports have detailed, claims that the workers in the cities are suffering needlessly. Clear explanation of the needs of the greater community has failed to convince this militant wing. I repeat my request for dedicated fire warrior teams to pursue and eliminate these saboteurs. The local militia is too limited and too prone to infiltration by packed elements to be up to the task. So this is freaking Tau. T okay, so if you as Tau win the Cronus campaign, it's a dark ending for the humans. And this is obviously the Tau working the humans in this area. This is what they think. This is what they think of the humans here. And by the way, there is... Um, in, I, I remember the last time I read about the Tau in Warhammer 40k lore, they were wiping out human uh, defectors who had defected from the Imperium to uh, the Tau for the greater good and all that jazz. And it was brutal how they did it to boot just lured them out there and then slaughtered them all. So I'm getting the impression that the Tau overall are starting to view humans as less and less and less. I don't know if the native human populations are being treated badly. You know, those who have already been living so long under Tau rule that it's all they know. But for those who immigrate over or whatever else, Life is cruel, and for the humans on Kronos, or sorry, Cronus, 
it's horrific. Anyway. Yeah, the Tau, they're, they're, they're just trash. Mind you. Once a thriving industrial center, by the beginning of the Dark Crusade, the Vandian coast had fallen into disuse. Some factories in the cities were still operational, but other great underground refineries languished under the sands of the coast. Long since abandoned as unnecessary by the planet's Tau masters. Whoever gained control of the coast would enjoy a powerful advantage for the rest of the crusade. With such potent manufacturing facilities, field commanders could requisition more weapons than their foes. Actually, remember to unmute this time. Um... Kregorov. Hey, Kregorov, I am taking the Vandian coast so that I can actually have a thousand more requisition at the beginning of every battle. Hey, what, what's going on? Oh, no! What? Uh, oh, how's going? It It's going all right right now. I've got a little bit of a migraine at the moment. That's honestly making it a bit hard to think. And, for some reason, the game suffered a malfunction so I'm going to restart and hopefully it works this time once a thriving industrial center what no what what's causing this no <sighs> what the heck Okay, let's try this one more time. Once a thriving industrial center, by the beginning of the Dark Crusade. Come on, work. No, 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 work. Work. Oh, I don't know. Fatal scar error. I don't know what that means. Um. I guess I'll just attack somewhere else. It's not really leaving me any option. I'm gonna try and take this. Oh, shoot a brick. You know, I'm not gonna try and take the spaceport just yet. Okay, the Pavonian Heartland. The breadbasket of Cronus in the Imperial Era. The Heartland features well developed farmland separated by small forests. The imperial cults, uh, imperial built cities of the region still bear the scars of the Iron Lung pandemic, which struck in the 39th millennium. Cronus's temperate bands grant the Heartland long but cool summers and a very long growing season. Powerful windstorms can buffet the region, but mild weather is the norm. Um. Okay, all right, I can do that. Um. Altres Critical Care Center. Dire news regarding the spread of the unknown pathogen causing the so-called Iron Lung Plague. Medicus centers in the northern sectors and in cities further west must prepare for full quarantine. What's more, they must bulwark themselves against the actions of seditious and heretical elements that seem determined to see the disease spread far and wide. We were here at the Critical Care Center, having been serving as the Central Coordinating Authority since the first cases were confirmed in the city, some 19 days ago. Our facilities are equipped for absolute containment, and the first several waves of patients were brought here for isolation. Subsequent, subsequent cases have been isolated in secondary care centers and converted hab blocks as the sheer numbers of patients have surpassed our capacities. Last night, a commotion erupted in the isolation wing as several infected patients turned on their staff, claiming the nurses were killing rather than treating them. Soon thereafter, a voice, that of an outside heretical agitator, I believe, came over the Voxcaster system, used for general announcements. This agent provocateur spewed heretical foolishness 
about iron lung plague being a blessing from on high rather than an affliction, that those who contract the disease should be honored as the chosen of the so-called great unclean one, and so forth. This led to an outright riot among the patients, one that quickly overwhelmed my beleaguered staff. Over 300 infected and infectious patients escaped the facility and fled into the city streets, heading north towards the population centers. Current death toll in Autra City is 11,672, with over 22,000 more infected. I expect those numbers to quadruple in the next few days as a direct result of these heretical actions. Dang, that crap is dark. Um, so I'm actually going to do what Kregorov recommends, and I'm going to quickly exit out of here. Yes. No. No. Main menu. All right. Okay. Let's go back to Steam. I'm going to go to Properties, uh, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. That's the one good thing about having Steam. You can do this. One files failed to validate and will be reacquired. Oh, nice. Okay, Kregorov, you were right. Nice tip, man. Thank you. Well, assuming you are a man. I don't know. Okay, cool. All right. We're back in it. Oh, that startled me. Campaign. Continue. All right. Once a thriving industrial center, by the beginning of the Dark Crusade, the Vandian coast. No, 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 come on. No, what? It was working for a split second. No work. Oh, what's going on here? Exit to Windows. Let's try that one more time. Um, local files. Verify integrity of game files. Okay, all of the files were successfully validated. So it should be working. All right. Arg, wait a moment and press Alt Control Slash. Okay. All right. I can try that. Tilled. Tilled. Okay. Uh, that calls up console and Once gives the name a of the problem. Industrial center. By the beginning of the Dark Crusade, the... Okay, so alt control forward slash. Okay, so far it's not working. Alt control tilled? What what's tilled? I have no idea what tilled is. Alt control tilled. I've never heard of that key. Alt con
Hmm. Oh, that one. This one. Okay, where is that key on my keyboard? <laughs> I don't know, America. Head bleed 88. Okay, now I just have to find that key. Well, I, I think it's this one right here. Well, I think I'm pressing the correct one. Yeah, it's just above the tab key. So alt control It's not showing it to me though. Yeah, yeah, the to the left of one and above the tab. All right. I I've been pressing it. Let's try it one more time. Alt, control, and, well, nothing's happening. It's supposed to bring up some information, right? What was supposed to happen? Come on, I just want to play. What is the issue? Am I going to have to reinstall? Could be it's another key on your keyboard. Yeah, it's supposed to bring up console and give the error code. Oh, oh. Well, that was unhelpful. I'm in Europe. We make things differently, as it seems. Yeah, yeah, just let me Google it a moment. Okay. All right. Um, I'll fiddle around, see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, press Control Alt. Yeah, th that was the button that uh, Headbleed told me to press, and I did, and it didn't do anything. Control, Alt. Yeah, it's that button. It's not doing anything. Let's see if the issue still occurs when we attack a different location. Oh, dang it. Ah. Menu. Load. Okay, it's working here so far. You Okay, you. I'm actually going to use you for freaking um 
capturing points. Yes, most beneficent one. All right, so this is working fine. So it's a direct glitch in regards to that particular map. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I want to play. It's like, jeez. Okay, you capture enemy territory. I sense danger. We will root it out. Okay. You once that's done, build um need another servitor. You two, control one. Oh shoot, what are you doing there? What the heck are you doing in melee? Oh shoot, that is, that battle is not going well. Oh shoot. Okay, you attack that. You, oh, darn it, I don't have the power. Um, another generator. Okay. All right, this is definitely going to be a problem. Um, I don't have the resources to bring him back. I just realized that. Shoot, if I lose... That dreadnought, I lose any hope of holding the enemy back. I lost the dreadnought. Okay, uh, that is a huge dang freaking problem. Oh, that that is an issue. Uh, I don't have the resources. Come on, you two, get in there. Okay, took that down, good. Come on, build, build it! Come on, build it. I await your instructions. Yes, most Oh, they've got a Necron Lord now too. You see, this is why I wanted that other place. You know the one they won't let me get? At this point, I just need to cut my losses and run. There's no point. It will fix eventually. I had to go mad on that stuff, too. Yeah, I just got my butt completely freaking owned. Yeah, that, that sucked. Okay, ending the turn. Oh, chaos. Oh! The Tau actually broke out. Oh, dang! Man, everybody's being aggressive. <sighs> I wish I could actually get something useful from this. From fighting the Eldar here, but at this point... Well, actually, no. Build those. Okay. There. Okay, you. Yeah, librarian. That. 
you build that up. You construct him. Him. Predators. That right there. You drop them in there. Okay. And you over here. All right. Come on. Okay. Well, if this is all they've got, this will actually be a really dang short fight. Yes, my lord. Orders received. The enemies of man It is better to die for the Emperor than live for yourself. Okay. Oh, no, they've got a second base. Okay. Oh, come on. My mouse is having a lot of problems lately. satisfying to actually fight a battle that I've well and truly prepared for and can with ease win. Actually, no, cancel all of that. Send servitors over here to do a little repair work. And do that. Oh, how's it feel, Harlequin? Not a dang thing you can do. Not against vehicles. Oh, how's it feel? It's so satisfying to have Dreadnoughts take on a Harlequin. So it can't do squat against them. Oh, it feels so good. Come on. Come on, Pred. Cool. Oh, five defenses. I did get something from that. Okay. All right. How can we make him, well, a heck of a lot tougher? Um, greatly increases health. 
That's the last thing. That's the last thing that will actually increase his toughness. There's nothing else. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to try this again. Let's see if it'll work. I'm going to save before I do so I have a, a fallback. Save. In case it glitches on me. Okay. I trouble fixed the console not showing up. It seems the internet was wrong. I launched my game and went uh, muscle memory on how to uh, get console. And it seems it's control shift plus and then next time it can be useful. Well, yeah, isn't that what you and Headbleed said? At least Headbleed said that and then later on you said it. We'll see what happens. Once a thriving industrial center. By the beginning of... Dang it. Still doing it. Um, oh, control shift. That's what you said. Control shift. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is. All right. Data scenario, Vandian coast rule, create enemies could not execute rule, create enemies. Fatal scar error while running execution has been paused. Simulator controller pause zero. Okay. Could not execute rule. So it's not able to create the Necron enemies for whatever reason. Ah, dang. Why do the stupid Necrons have to take it? What is causing, like, what is causing it not to be able to create the enemies? Is it the fact that the game's not used to Necrons having this territory when you attack it? Is that the issue? <sighs> Alright, well... I'm not sure what to do. I don't know how to resolve that. I mean, I can attack it and hit auto-resolve, but auto-resolves... Oh, wait. It won't let me auto-resolve on an attack. Oh, and they strengthen their hold on the freaking... Man, I need this. I need the industrial production. It sent me back. Like, it sent me back big time to try and take the Vandian... I mean, the Pavonian Heartland instead of the P Vandian Coast... It's a freaking glitch I'm not able to get by. I've never encountered this problem before, and I've played a lot of Dark Crusade, so I honestly don't know what the issue is. <sighs> I guess I can just ignore it. I don't know what else to do. <coughs> but ignoring it is not an option. I need that. Like, I really, really need that. And I don't have a choice in that matter. I have to take the industrial production if I'm going to have any hope of prying... Uh, the Necrons or any of the other really entrenched units out of their areas. I, I can't even get through the dang Heartland to go and take the Ares Badlands because the Necrons are so dang dug in here. I literally don't even have the ability to do that one little thing. So do I just have to restart the campaign and hope the Necrons don't take the Vandian Coast again? Fragging, Dara. I'm not sure. 
I guess I have no choice but to restart the live stream. Um, by restart, I mean restart the game and start a new live stream series. Uh, it's a script error. You should wait for another race to take the territory and try again or cheat. I, I, there's no other race that's going to take the territory. Sure, if the Imperial Guard move over here, I could just surrender this area to them. Let them take the Oristine Plains and then hopefully they would take the Vandian Coast then. But it's kind of a luck of the draw thing if they'd even win it. Um, and Chaos keeps attacking um, Victory Bay. They're more than likely going to wipe out the Imperial Guard. and Maybe they'll systematically make their way over. It's a lot of and ifs or buts. I'm not sure it's worth waiting for. Plus, I need the Vandian Coast. The industrial production... Like, I don't know if I can actually win without it. And they're dug in here nine. They're here on nine. The strength of nine. I couldn't even beat eight right here. And they have their honor guard. All of these units... I would get owned. Oh wait, I did get owned. I remember now. Um, I think in the Cronus campaign, when you're you have your honor guard neighboring a sector, you get bonuses. You automatically get bonuses. Uh, you get your honor guard and your hero in neighboring sectors that get attacked. And let's face it, this stinking cupcake. Oh my gosh, he owns one, two, three, four, five territories. And only two of those are giving him honor guard. Yet he has eight. I didn't realize it before now, but... The AI get buffed. They get majorly buffed here. He has four times the amount that he should in honor guard. And, wait, did you say or cheat, Kregorov? How do you cheat? I mean, I'm not asking because I want to cheat. I'm asking because I want to get past this problem. But I honestly stopped trying to cheat at video games a long time ago. So I'm... I've never researched how to cheat in Cronus. Or, sorry, Dark Crusade. Not a freaking clue. Oh, archive, attack... Pavonia, Heartland. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. I'm just going to thriving industrial center. You could try it one more At time. The of the dark Come on. No. Well, I'll see if I can take the spaceport. For much of the Dark Crusade, great fleets plied the orbital lanes above the battlefields of Cronus, using their firepower to ground long-range flights. Guardsmen and heretic alike had to fight meter by bloody meter, with great battle fleets exchanging fire across the skies. Trench warfare seemed an immutable fact of life for commanders on the ground. All this changed with the Battle of Pavonis. This spaceport featured an ancient Adeptus Mechanicus tracking system merged with the alien technologies of the Tau Aircast. This system was sensitive enough to plot courses that avoided orbital fire, making strikes deep into enemy territory possible. A tech priest had discovered this technological marvel and left his servitors to examine it in detail. 
Whichever force was able to recover, these bionic servants would gain control of the station and be able to launch strikes across Cronus. We are Beware the aliens, the mutants. Ahead. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. I am the instrument of his will. We are the Emperor chosen. Thank you, Dashi. Understood. Here to serve. Initializing build protocol. I await your instruction. Yes, my lord. The tech priest services. Bring it to our stronghold. Weapons at ready. Scout ship holding potential command. Infiltrating Engage enemy territory. Fire. Strategic point identified. I am ready to serve. Scouts reporting Again. for duty. Command me. Scouts in position. Scouts awaiting orders. I await your instructions. Well done, brothers. You've safely recovered a servitor. I will we will need more to bring the spaceport back online. One for the Imperial. Here's a nice thing. Plant what sort of kill will be done? Direct us to the enemy. Onward to glory! One of the tech priest's servitors. Maintain bring it to our stronghold. Formation. Weapons at ready. The it's Emperor. Fire. Position secure. Yes, Lord. Yes, most beneficent one. I exist to serve. Yes, I shall so obey. At your command. Strategic point identified. Strategic point identified. Scouts here. Strategic point identified. Ever vigilant. Weapons at ready. Taking damage. Your instruction. Here to serve. Position secure. Well done, brothers. You've safely recovered a servitor. Scouts here. We will need more to bring the spaceport back online. Onward to glory. My faith is my shield. Space Marines, advance! Defending objective. Yes, my lord. On patrol. Strategic point identified. Strategic point identified. Here to serve. Yes, Lord. Here to serve. One of the tech priest services. Yes, Lord. Bring it to our stronghold. Fear the nice thing. Maintain attack. This day shall be a glorious one. For the the yes, Lord. As you wish. Here to serve. As you wish. Initializing build protocol. Here to serve. As you wish. I shall obey. Initializing build protocol. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Well done, brothers. You've safely recovered a servitor. We, are we will need more to bring the spaceport back online. Take heed, brothers. The enemy is gathering servitors as well. Secure. Awaiting orders. Fear our wrath. To the skies. Weapons at ready. It is time. We are the Emperor's chosen. Praise the Emperor. Taking damage. Yes, most beneficent one. Yes, most beneficent one. Area yes, secured. I will do as you ask. One of the tech priest servitors. Bring it to our stronghold. Yes, most beneficent one. With all due haste. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Well done, brothers. You've safely recovered a servitor. 
We will need more I to bring the spaceport back online. Yes, most beneficent one. I will do as you ask. My faith is my shield. Praise the Emperor. We are united in his words. Follow my lead. For the honor of the chapel, for the glory of the Emperor, we are united. I await your instructions. I will do as you ask. Silver Team 71 initiated. Take heed, brothers. The enemy is gathering servitors as well. Maintain attack formation. Scouts here. Search commencing. Strategic point identified. Strategic point identified. Apothecary ready. Scouts in position. Today the enemy shall know fear. My faith is my shield. Praise the Emperor. My aim shall not falter. Praise the Emperor. Follow me into battle. The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. With all due haste, one of the tech the priest's servitors will be bring it to our stronghold. To one initiated. While the enemies of the Emperor steal your breath, there can be no peace. Scouts in position. Commencing infiltration. Taking heavy Here to fire. serve. Here to serve. Here to serve. Yes, Lord. Initializing build protocol. Apothecary here. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Scouts in position. Fear denies faith. Maintain attack formation. Maintain attack formation. Well the done, brothers. We've safely recovered a servitor. We will need more to bring the spaceport back online. He who stands with I you shall be my weapon. brother. It is better to die for the what Emperor than have? live for yourself. Here to serve. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Here to serve. Initializing build protocol. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. We stand ready. Moving out. Target their vehicle. Protects us. Taking heavy fire. Do 
day the enemy shall know fear. Follow me, the warriors of the Inquisition are yours to command. Yes, Nero. Today the enemy shall know fear. Thank you, Dashi. Orders Take received. Heavy fire. One of the tech Orders priests served us. Bring it to our stronghold. Fear my our wrath. <sighs> Onward to glory. Onward to glory. Fear our wrath. Moving out. Orders received. Run. My knowledge is at your disposal. Walk softly, then carry a big gun. Knowledge is power. Hide it well. The enemy is attacking! What would you have me do? Orders received. Direct us to the enemy. Orders received. Activating jump pads. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. There is no such thing as innocence. Only Servitors as well. My aim shall not falter. What is your order? Weapons at ready. It is time. Cleanse, purge, kill. Taking heavy fire. Moving out. Stay vigilant, brothers. Moving out. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. He who stands with me shall be my brother. One of the tech priest's servitors. Bring it to our stronghold. The Emperor protects. My faith is my shield. Apothecary here. The enemies of the Emperor shall be destroyed. Emperor is with us, brothers. Victory is ours. Taking damage. Under fire. Apothecary ready. Oh, my mic went out. Jeez. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out, Kragerov. Um, there's an online at level 57 data scenarios. Scar file. Okay. All right, so if I can find the scar file. Dot scar. No items match your search. Crap. Where do I find this file now? Um...
Graphic option, drivers, bug report, badges. I do not know where to find it. Fragmentation. And searching for it came up with literally nothing. Fragment fricantation. Nothing in there. Bug reports, no. Man, where do I find the scar file? Yeah, I don't I don't think it's in here. Data? No, data folder is empty. I already searched through this folder. Okay, um, I've searched through everything that I can search for. I can't find the SCAR file. I'm not sure where it is. Um, Cause I would really like to solve this problem. I don't want to have to completely reinstall uh, dark, well, not reinstall, but restart the game. I'm searching C disk for Scar, seeing if it'll come up with anything. Well, it found something. says scar oh oh yeah s card dlg dot dll so not the thing we're looking for so far nothing else Where the heck is the SCAR folder? Well, now it's finding a bunch of things, but most of them are still S card. None of them look applicable. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm searching for it too. I'll look into it and let you know shortly. Meanwhile, you can enjoy the game if you please. Indeed. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to continue ignoring that for now. But thank you, Craig Groff. Your help so far has been appreciated. You have my thanks. I'll let that be. All right. Let's just continue playing. Campaign. Continue. All right, ending the turn. Oh, I was worried they were going to win there for a second. 
All right, the good news is I can strike wherever I want now, including at some place like here where I can then pick up the Reclusi Arc, which would be really freaking cool. Problem is it'd be way behind enemy lines. So I would have to heavily fortify the location in order to have any hope of holding. Ah, darn it. I accidentally minimized. Okay. Um, you know what, I think, oh wait, oh, but if I take Fury, then I can double tap after that. I can take two territories a turn, which would highly speed up my campaign. I think at this point, aggression is like my best friend. Just hitting hard and hitting fast. Okay, the good news is that when I take the Ares Badlands, all I have to do is just hole up and wait for the enemy to come to me. That's all I have to do versus uh, the Ares Badlands versus the Necrons there. So, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Excuse me. Archive. The Ares Badlands. The harshest area of the central desert band, the Badlands rock-dry terrain, has claimed many unwary travelers. Unholy relics and foul ruins dot the Badlands, supposedly remnants of the battles of the Horus Heresy. A natural depression on the eastern edge of the central desert, the Badlands have no known source of water. Only the occasional dust devil interrupts the pounding of the sun on this barren death trap. Dang, when the report, when the freaking Munitorium report makes it sound like that, you know the place has got problems. Okay, from Desert of the Lost, Three Cycles in the Badlands, by Regius Hahn, Pavonius Press Limited Release. Along with thirst, hunger, madness uh, was always with me in the Badlands. Ares is not like any other desert I had ever been in. There was something about it that slowly wore away at my mind, just like the wind did the rock. Mirages and voices in the wind were constant companions, showing me the darkest corners of myself. I saw again and again the people I had hurt and lied to, the daughter I had abandoned, the wife I had betrayed. But there were other mirages, images of things so terrible and alien that they drove me further and further into the desert if only to escape them. The worst of these was a thing I came to call the Rose Lady. I never saw her clearly, of course, but she was both the most beautiful and most horrific thing I had ever encountered. In the depths of the night, she would step from the shadows, her eyes like rich quartz, and her flesh a pale pink never touched by the sun. The moonlight would hint at the curve of her breasts and the line of her thighs, and waves of arousal would rush through my sleep-addled mind. And her voice. I would hear her sing in the wind or whisper in my ear. And I would swoon to this day. Uh, sorry, and I would swoon. To this day, when I try to remember her tones, I get caught in loops of regret and yearning. It was like hearing a color. Something impossibly beautiful, but inherently wrong. All the Rose Lady's visits were rapturous, but they were also horrifying. Eventually, as she sidled up to me in my dreams, she would smile and reveal her terrifying needle-like teeth, or the light would catch the writhing serpents in her hair. I woke screaming every morning, but yearned for her return every night. Sounds a little bit like Medusa there. Ooh. That is, uh... Genuinely horrifying. I think I would learn to dread sleep. Okay. Let's do this. Hoomrah! It was during the Horus Heresy that the influence of chaos first drove Space Marine against Space Marine. Cronus witnessed some of this terrible fighting. And the heretics of those ancient times left behind them terrible artifacts. In the desolate Ares Badlands stood one such talisman. An ancient icon of the blood god Korn. With war sweeping Cronus once more, 
A demon within the icon awoke. It fed on the souls of those slain in combat and promised gifts to whoever would slake its thirst for blood. Even the warriors of the Imperium ended up feeding the fiend as they fought across the Badlands to prevent others from claiming this prize. The faithful tried to ignore the whispers the demon slipped into their minds, but every death still fed its dark appetite. In the end, whoever controlled the Ares Badlands would gain a measure of the demon's fury, allowing them to launch attack after attack against their enemies. It's interesting to know that Krotos was in the path of the Horus Heresy. I know the Horus Heresy was basically galaxy-wide, or at least as far as the Imperium had expanded to that point, but it is interesting to know that it directly participated to the point where this is here. And somehow the great canon of that fallen Imperator Titan ended up on Kronos of all places. Weird. Okay. Ah, I hate that. Okay, you build this. Another servitor to begin. You here. You here. I'll stick you right there. Come on. Okay. I await your ready. Position secure and hope. We stand ready. Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. There's something very wrong with my mouse. I need to get a new one. Here to serve. I will do as you ask. Awaiting orders. Yes, Lord. Okay. Come on. Initializing the protocol. Yes, most beneficent one. Securing on I will do as you ask. Yes, most beneficent one. With all due haste. Okay, can I upgrade this yet? Not yet. I need more power. I should get that in a few seconds. Nice. Yes, most Then the two of you together build me more power. I will do as you most beneficent one. That should be mine shortly. Yes, Lord. I'm actually going to take you and take this. Okay, build that up. I want another servitor. Oh, 75. More expensive than I remembered. I await your instructions. What is I your await word? your instructions. Yes, most beneficent one. Okay. Yes, most beneficent one. You know what? Here to serve. I exist Let's to begin serve. building turrets. Dang it. Back to war. Yes, sir. Not, not that. Dang it. Initializing the build protocol. With all due haste. Build routine sector one initiated. Here to serve. Come on. You know what, actually? Here to serve. You stay up here. The turrets will definitely give me an edge in defending, 
And from what I remember playing this, I should just be able to hold this point up here. I mean, uh, these three points and just drive the enemy back. And them continually coming at me will give me eventual victory. I don't even have to leave my base. I expected them to hit me by now, though. What is taking them so long? Yes, Lord. Building team to one initiated. Here to serve. Building team to one initiated. What is your will? Here to serve. I shall obey. Okay. I will make your instruction. Got all of my servitors now. Where was... Yes, my lord. Dang it. Yes, most beneficent one. Um... Oh, right. I was going to upgrade this. There we go. All right, that is on its way. I await your instructions. As you wish. Build team to one initiated. Okay, they captured... Okay, it's that further relic, so... They're definitely not on my doorstep yet. Yes, most beneficent one. Okay. Alright, that'll be my last generator. Yes, most beneficent one. You can build one more turret, and I yes, think I'll build it over here. Just to have a back door. Well, to cover the back door, anyway. Initializing build protocol. Okay. Stronghold is upgrading. Should be upgraded shortly. So that costs oh quite a pretty penny I await your instruction Come on mouse Marine squad deployed Okay definitely that and then yes bionics awaiting orders Okay, come on. All right, and then we're gonna go heavy bolter squad because we want to reap the meat tally. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. What would you have me do? Oh, come on, mouse. Where are you even at? There you are. Come on. Yes, most beneficent one. Under fire. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Praise the Emperor. Wow, I only need to destroy 70 of them? Really? That's it? I'm actually going to have him come back here and hold his position there. The Emperor protects us. Okay, the Grey Knights can absorb the damage instead of him now, and they're much more easily replaced. Today the enemy shall no fear. Okay. He who stands with you shall be my brother. Ever vigilant. All right. I got 24 from that alone. Dang, I don't need much more. Awaiting orders. 
awaiting orders. Oh, he's right here. Okay, I'll go back to right here. No, no, what are you doing? Hold it right there. Okay, build. Okay, I'll for you. Come on. Oh, is there just not enough room? No, I didn't mean to destroy the armory. Arr. Here to serve. Yes, most whatever. One. Not a big deal. I will do as you ask. I will do as Kay. you ask. I await your instructions. Afterward, going to build another generator up here. With and yeah, we'll rebuild the armory up here. Okay, and upgrade this to cover the back door. Upgrade that. They're, they can't even take damage yet. And that almost doubles what we had. Okay. Need 200 requisition before we can upgrade this. Yeah, just like two more attacks and we'll easily be win this. Like, they're not even trying to take us down, it feels like. I don't know why, but this is a super easy win. I await your and then watch them, like, just hit me with overwhelming force. No, you're not making it out of there. You're dead. I shall obey. I await your instructions. I will do as you ask. With all due haste. Okay. And get a chaplain on route. That's upgrading. He's trying to get up again. That was actually a little painful to watch. What? Okay. All right. Direct us to the enemy. It's up there. Come on. Oh, this, I actually feel a little bit sorry for this guy. Oh, he still doesn't make it. Oh, I thought he was going to make it that time. Ironically, my missile launcher here is, help keep, is helping to keep him alive longer because when your units have guns, they tend not to shoot at those on the ground. Oh. He who stands with me shall be my brother. By the Emperor it shall be so. What would you have me do? This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Okay. I await your instructions.
Okay, upgrading this. Yes. Just a few souls more. I don't know if Necrons have souls, but okay. Yes, sir. I exist to serve. I await your instructions. I exist to serve. I await your instructions. Okay. Eleven more. That's all I need. Eleven more. Dang it, I'm still low on requisition because I'm only holding three points. That's annoying. Yep. The power of the blood god shall be yours. Easy win. A really dang easy win. I honestly expected that to be a lot harder. Weird. Okay, now uh, we can take Reclusiarch in the Reen Jungle. All right, let's archive this crap. The Reen Jungle. Dense tropical rainforests extend throughout the drainage basin of the mighty Rio River. The river features few outright cities, but many trading posts, often fortified against the feral orcs and Kroot who inhabit the deep jungles. Extremely dense jungles lines the snaking riverine, although past attempts to develop agriculture have left some clearings in the foliage. The shade of the canopy can lead to cool patches, but the climate is generally hot and wet with frequent storms in the autumn and winter. Okay, may I just add in that feral orcs are bad enough, but when you have feral orcs and feral croot, I'm just all like, ugh! That is, that is a nightmare scenario 101. Feral orcs and croot. Those two, I don't know how often they war with each other, or worse, if they would like ever combine forces. But that's generally a very unpleasant thought. Kroot have a particular set of nasty capabilities that make them uh, less than ideal to face off in combat. And I, I've got to say, it, it's a it's a big it's a big level of no no. Um, I honestly outright would rather face orcs. Not a full orc wah, but I'd rather if I had to face off against ten Kroot and ten orcs, I'd choose the orcs. I really, really would. I would not choose the crew. Those buggers are fast, agile, and surprisingly strong for their size. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Coded transmission sent to Librarian Isidore Akios of the Blood Ravens. Although the documents you provided to us suggest that the battle between our brothers and the heretics they pursued occurred in the north, we chose to land in the Reen Jungle Basin. When our, landers sp uh, when our landers' scanners picked up a signal beacon using the sacred codes of the chapter, our search led us into the densest jungle infested with feral orcs and other creatures. We chose not to engage the aliens lest we sacrifice the stealth that was our greatest advantage. We tracked the signal beacon to an overgrown junk pile, one of the common artifacts. So, my wife has infiltrated the room and is doing her best to be noisy. Okay, I know, I know you're trying to be stealthy, but there's no way you're going to reach into that bag and be stealthy. Please just take the bag. Yes. If there's something in the bag you need, just just take the bag. Anyway. My hand's already in the bag. Just remove it. Okay, <laughs> take the bag. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Mr. Speak... Oh, greetings and hail, Mr. Speakman. Um, 
hello everybody. I was very surprised to see somebody streaming right now, which is awesome. Well, I mean, I know it's a Saturday, but I just... I want to play Dark Crusade. It's something that I have never live streamed, though I did do recordings of it way back in the day, and I felt like, you know, why not? It's a freaking awesome game. Okay, let me start this again at this paragraph. Our search led us into the densest jungle, infested with feral orcs and other creatures. We chose not to engage the aliens, lest we sacrifice the stealth that was our greatest advantage. We tracked the signal beacon to an overgrown junk pile, one of the common artifacts of the long-time orcish infestation. In that pile, we found a battered, but still intact, Narthaseum case. Bearing the sigil of our chapter, and a brief recorded message I reproduce here. Find here the holy progenoid glands of Brother Taranius Null and initiate Ezekiel Remus, fallen in battle against the ruinous powers. We continue our march toward the center of power of the heretics, but I leave here these precious organs. I fear we march to the slaughter and would have at least some of our gene seeds survive the coming storm. In the Emperor's name, I beseech you to return this case to the Omnis Arcanum. In his holy name, I am Apothecary Francis of the Fourth Company, Blood Ravens Chapter. We have no way of knowing where or when the orcs found this holy item. Although we can thank their barbarity for disposing of it so casually. I judged the recovery of this lost gene seed to take priority over further exploration and ordered our return to Trader Varnius's vessel. I do find myself wondering at the coincidence of names, however. The records you provided us seems to be penned by one brother, Remus, while this record points to the death of an initiate of the same name. Could there truly be two men in the same team with the same name? And if not, then who assumed Remus's name after his death? Dude, I love the intrigue here. I love the mystery. This is part of what makes Dark Crusade so good. It's not just that it was a masterful game with amazing gameplay. But they did not skimp in the slightest on the story. It is, bar none, in my opinion, yeah, Dark Crusade is the best out of the entire Dawn of War series. There is no better game, in my opinion, when it comes to Dawn of War. And it lays the perfect groundworks for a concept like Total War. Like the games of Total War, I know we just got Total War Warhammer, but... It lays the groundworks for Total War Warhammer 40k. It wouldn't be hard to replicate for any sci-fi genre. Well, I'm glad I could be here, Mr. Speakman. Oh, for Dark Crusade is freaking awesome. <clears throat> okay. Are there not many other people streaming right now, Mr. Speakman? Okay. 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 Actually, you. All right. I think they're gonna be there. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. You. This. Uh, I use the assault marine for this because honestly, they seem poor for everything else. They're just not strong enough to survive in combats. They just aren't. Okay. Scouts in position. Scouts reporting for duty. Scouts in position. Scouts in position. Scouts orders. Oh dang! Oh dang! Nope, none. I never see Dawn of War streams. Oh, dude, that sucks. 
Jeez. That sucks that you never see Dawn of War streams. Stop following my dang scouts, you stupid green dicks. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. Scouts here. Getting into position. I sense danger. We will root it out. Yes, one day. At last, back to war. I have no choice but to uh, fall back to my base at this juncture. Oh, there's Gorguts. Dang it. Scouts in position. Securing objective. I am the instrument of his will. Oh, shoot a dang mother frickin' brick. Oh, no, come on, come on. You are useful right now. Okay. And then you hit that. You start producing here. You guys repair that thing. Before they destroy it. Actually, whoa, cancel the battle, brothers. I'm not sure this thing's gonna live. Oh, wait, oh. Darn, that was bad timing. Just when I find out they are gonna live. Okay. You guys go do your actual job. They're the only sir. Oh, come on! What are you doing? Shoot this guy! Okay. Okay. That was hectic. Jeez, where did they come from? Oh, okay. I think they came from down here. Scouts ready. We are the Emperor's chosen. Strategic point identified. Okay. Claim it to the name of the Emperor. Come oh, you stupid mouse. Objective one eight. Objective Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to be down here. Okay, we got to get our economy running. Come on. Good. Build two listening posts at the same time. Oh, dang, that's a group of dead knobs. Uh, this is normal difficulty. This is my first time getting back into Dawn of War Dark Crusade after a really long time. I haven't played this in ages. So I decided to just uh, play it safe and not go too hard a difficulty just yet. Plus my mouse is just on the fritz. I do not know what is wrong with this thing. I shall obey. I shall obey. Build routine 721 initiated. Command me. By my command, attack! Definitely need to repair my dreadnought. Scouts here. We are the Emperor's chosen. Good. Eh, yeah, screw it. Under fire. Today, the enemy shall yeah, I had a feeling they were down here. Yes. Okay. Yes, most beneficent one. Yes, That's... Most beneficent one. What is your wish? I will do as you ask. I await your instructions. You. Okay. Yes, most beneficent one. Secured. All right. And dismiss, dismiss. Let's get some freaking vehicles out here. I shall obey. 
Oh, come on. Scouts awaiting orders. Infiltrating enemy territory. Strategic point identified. Infiltrating enemy territory. My aim shall not falter. Direct us to Okay. Shoot. Come on, hit the frickin' Now get out of there. Now you fall back. You get in the meaningful fights. Okay. All right. Run over here. Build. Build. Okay. Hundred more requisition there. Oh yeah, duh. I remember now. Um, I keep. Tr I gotta remember to build a freaking armory. Jeez. These orcs are putting up a surprisingly potent fight. I did not expect them to be so. Well, I mean, orcs are aggressive. Don't get me wrong, but. I didn't anticipate that it was going to be this fearsome. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I didn't mean to win that easily! Ah! Uh, um, well, I'm definitely going to have to garrison some troops there. Okay, Reclusi Arc. Let's check him out. By the way, the Reclusi Arc, that is a cool name. I just want to get that out there. Um, Honor Guard Unit. Chaplain Reclusi Arc. Uh, Reclusi Arch Michaelis carries the faith and honor of the chapter with him into battle. Dramatically increases the regeneration rate of surrounding units. Powerful melee attack. If I remember though, he's a little squishier than a normal chaplain, so you do have to be careful with him. Excuse me. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and reinforce. Uh, Dreadnought, if you please. Tactical squads. Uh, a couple extra servitors wouldn't do bad. You know what? Let's top it off. Let's just go all the way. Oh, cool. Makes it an eight. That's not bad. All right. Now ending the turn. Okay. Chaos immediately hits us here. Now, this is going to be an actual straight-up fight. Um... The reason why I point that out before is before I could hunker down and just hold my position and the Necrons just came to me and I killed 70 of them and won the game. Now I actually have to fight this. I never freaking auto resolve. Never auto resolve. It always goes in the enemy's favor. It would be cool though if the thing that makes the, you know, whatever the area is, whatever decides victory there continually happens. It wasn't just a one-off thing. But it, unfortunately, a con Dark Crusade is, is just one-off. Okay. Okay, get him, him, uh, you, and then that and that. And get that processing. Definitely want to get that on the move. Yeah, you and you. Okay. Which that costs too much. How much of this? That we can do. Uh, do I have... Oh, yes, I have all generators. Um, yes, Grey Knight Charge. Very worth it, in my opinion. We just burned through a thousand requisition in just a few... Like, a moment. Just a moment. Just dang, that went quickly. Man, they're attacking me quickly. So much quicker than the Necrons did. Oh, these are... Oh, yeah, okay. These are uh, Chaos. Eh, stop attacking my servitor. No. 
Oh, oh attack, attack, attack. Dang, this has been a fight right out the gate. This was what I was expecting last time. Oh, Grey Knights. I love Grey Knights. I do. I'll admit, these obliterators look cool. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. My aim shall not falter. Why aren't they firing their heavy bolt? Their, their storm bolters. Okay, no more apothecaries for now. They're not that valuable. They're too squishy to be that valuable. Kind of a waste of resources at the moment. I await your instructions. Okay, let's rebuild another turret as soon as possible. Well, this is chaos, this right here. This isn't dorks, this is just straight up chaos. Or were you referring back to the orcs from before, Mr. Speakman? What is your instructions? Yes, Lord. Dang it. Stop building dreadnoughts. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Okay. Yes, Lord. With all due haste. This day shall be a glorious Cool. Alright. I judged that correctly. That's done. Uh, just in general, they put up a good fight. Oh, dang straight orcs do. They're always surprisingly tough fighters. And I love when that's accurately depicted in writing. There was a book where Caiaphas Cain was observing Necrons and orcs duke it out with each other. And while he was observing the fight, uh, an orc that he thought was dead and down suddenly gets back up when a Necron stepped too close, rips off the Necron's leg, and then it starts beating the Necron to death with its own leg. And uh, Caiaphas was like, oh. <laughs> it's like, okay, plus one for orcs. Okay. Yep. Finally up our requisition. Oh. Oh, that was victory. Okay. Take it, take it away. I was hoping they were actually going to take that. Okay. Um, what else do we want? Increased manpower. So, or, bleh, requires control of the Assyrian forests. Gain control of relics left by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Allows you to support more troops in the field. Increases your squad cap and vehicle cap. Applies to attacks and defensive missions. Okay. So, if we actually have a long-term fight... This increases our army value, which if we're going to assault one of their headquarters, this right here is imperative. This is good to have. So yeah, I'm going to take this. Oh darn, fortified to nine. 
That is a problem. Okay. Archive. Oh, no. Ugh, I hate doing that. All right. The Assyrian forests are home to several prominent universities and research facilities. Behind the idyllic walls of these institutions, intense and some would say heretical study of alien life takes place. Temperate weather and plentiful rainfall feed the massive forest. Until the corruption of Daimos, the sea of trees was broken only by a small by small rivers and a few small chains of mountains. Now horrors from the Immaterium haunt the south's twisted woods. Adeptus Mechanicus to Magos Explorator Cumin. Author, Magos Explorator Gaius. Amidst the trees of the forest on the southern edge of the arid heart of the continent, a Zeus-class relay and control station has seemingly stood undisturbed for thousands of years. It has taken me several weeks to find the proper rituals to awaken the machine spirits in the station so they would grant us access. The doors finally slid open two days ago. And I've spent the time since poring over the treasure trove that lurked within. It seems that the relay station once controlled a network of orbital stations able to rain destruction across the planet's surface. Only a few of these satellites have survived, however. I imagine many were damaged or became hopelessly dormant over the millennia. But I have found traces of, it, of incomplete self-destruct orders in the ancient logic engine here. I haven't found any evidence of a breach of the station's defenses, only traces of battle within. I cannot understand, then, how the heretics gained access. Or what happened to Magos Palidius? Huh. So Magos Palidius, the guy who came here, who set up so many ancient artifacts that the Mechanicus is so eager to recover. Um, it appears this may have been his final end. I mean, or someone infiltrated his facility and co compromised it to the point where he initiated a self-destruct code or had one of his... Uh, vassals initiate a self-destruct code that destroyed a massive array of satellites that could rain bombardment down on the planet. This would effectively leave the planet in control, like an intact array would have left the planet in Palladius's control. Its loss would have been devastating, but who was it that did this? I wish we had the answers. It'd be cool if we could get that. Would that not be awesome every time you attacked a location? What remaining satellites bombard the location? Sort of like in Soulstorm, when you capture the Tau's uh, original um, home base, you get their great cannon. Would have been a cool concept. Anyway. Oh, let's go ahead and screw up Erebus's day. Okay. There, oh, there they are. There they are. Come on. They attacked fast. I like it. So the Reclusi Arc is still fragile. Okay, you two. Begin building. Ah, darn. Uh, power generators. Initiated. I don't know as you ask. 
Scouts in position. Scouts here. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, darn. No, not the Reclusiarch. Not the Reclusiarch. Let the commander tank that fire. Okay, now let him come in. Okay, you. Head down. Take that point and that point. You guys. Start taking that point. That. And that. Okay. Dreadnought, over here, take that out. Okay, that, those are all built. Now I can build myself an armory. Okay. Destroy that. We need that out of the picture now. Okay. You guys leapfrog over to here. Okay. That's constructed. Okay. One of you. Begin construction of that. You actually run back here. Capture that point. Okay, destroy this. done with you start upgrading um let's see. where are oh i don't have enough resources just right now no oh, screw it just continue building listening posts oh darn 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 guys kill this guy you destroy that No, no. Attack this. Okay, alright, all of you. Well, first kill him. Okay. That's... Okay, all of you head over here. I want to actually build this place up a bit more. I don't want to just leave it undefended when we go. Here, here, here. Alright, you build that. You run over here, start capturing these points. Infiltrating enemy territory. Direct us to the enemy. Position secure. Okay. Here to serve. I exist to serve. Scouts here. Heresy grows from Icarus. At your command. 
Getting into position. We will move ahead. Shoot, 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 Serve it or continue in your circle. With all due haste. With all due haste. With all due haste. Here. Attack. Attack. Okay. That's... Upgrade this. I await your instructions. You head down here. Uh, Mr. Speakman, uh, Speakman, Speakman, sorry, Mr. Speakman, I really want to play this game now. I might start a hard campaign tonight, even though I will get destroyed. I mean, the one thing I learned when I played on hard, like, I beat the entire Soulstorm campaign as Space Marines on hard, um, and the one thing that I learned is you have to be stupid level aggressive. Like... That is your one hope of winning. Being stupidly aggressive. You don't have any other means of victory. Scouts here. Here to serve with all due haste. I shall obey. Okay, they're dead. Defending objective. Yes, Okay. I will that. This. Yes, oh, I need to go back here. Yes, most beneficent one. Because the computers get so many boons, they get so many benefits when you, um, well, yeah, on hard difficulty, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. The only way to have any real chance is indeed just to be mindlessly aggressive. If, well, not mindlessly aggressive. Don't be a freaking org, but... Scouts ready. Yes, my lord. By my command. Attack. Uh, you really do. I always played very defensive for years when I decided to watch some pros play. And yeah, you just have to go balls out straight away. Or they build up really fast and it's just too much. Amen. Amen. You you taking territories is something you have to be just insane about. Oh, oh yeah. In order to make the AI harder, they just cheat. They just give the AI cheats, and honestly, it's annoying. It's why whenever you get an exploit in the game, I don't feel bad about it, because the AI already are given insane amounts of cheats. So I'm like, whoop de freaking do if you uh, find found an exploit. The game devs already basically, technically as you said, enable the AI to cheat, so it's like... I don't feel bad whenever I find an exploit. Yes, most beneficent one. Dang, there's just no place to put this thing. I shall obey. I'm actually going to build it down me. here. With all due haste. Okay. Initializing build protocol. Yes, most beneficent one. I shall obey. Scouts ready. We will move ahead and mark any enemy positions. Here to serve. I will do as you ask. Scouts here. Gathering intelligence. 
I do, my favorite kit on scouts is plasma rifle, three plasma rifles, and a flamethrower. In my opinion, there's no better one. Yes, most beneficent one. Okay, cause the sniper rifles, while good at destroying enemy morale, they barely do any damage. You'd think they would one shot enemy infantry, but they don't. So to me, it, it's not even worth it. Yes, most beneficent one. Okay. Initializing build yes, the most beneficent one. As you wish. Defending objective. I shall obey. Okay. Yes, you build here. Yes, we're on initiate. We will move ahead and mark any standing positions. All right. Here to serve. I await your instructions. I shall obey. I will do as you ask. Here to serve. Here to serve. Okay. I await your instructions. All right, you repair I that. And then run over yes, here. Alright. They build that. You're building this. Let's get some Grey Knights on the field. Because I love me some Grey Knights. Not ashamed to admit it. I love the Grey Knights. Die for the Emperor, then live for yourself. Here to serve. As you wish. The Emperor protects us. Alright, just a little bit more power. Come on. Nice. Our faith makes us strong. Onward, brothers. Onward, brothers. What is your order? At your command. Okay. That done there. Continue those building. That one's almost done. This one's almost done. And it's gonna be a while before I can afford to build another one. I exist to serve. Here to serve. Okay. I will do as you ask. And, oh, is there, yeah, there's room. Room to build one more. Cool. And you, go ahead and construct this back here. Oh, and y'all are so dead. Oh, dang, dang, dang. Ow. Move. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. You know what? Screw it. Go ahead. Go in there. That's the first step on the road to disappointment. Direct us to the enemies. Okay, what was I looking for? Oh, up here. This. Oh, I'm not ready for that yet. Where is... I'm taking you and having you come back up here. I'm gonna build this. Apothecary ready. Move to the center. By my command. Apothecary 
Alright, that's under construction. Gonna build about three squads of Space Marines, send them there. Those are under construction. Let's start actually... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead and fall back, and then do this. Okay, have him fall back just a bit more. Build that. You guys also build termies. Sure, actually. Okay, that's done. Where else have we got anything? Yeah, sure. Marine squad deployed. Oh, so Have far vision. nothing else. At your command. What? Yes, my lord. At your command. Okay, that's under construction. Build one of those. You guys go here. Today the enemy shall know fear for the honor of the child. Alright, already deployed them. Cool, okay, and about over here. So in my opinion, I think I would definitely prefer to have a squad of Terminators than a single Dreadnought. I feel like the tactical advantage and the versatility of a squad of Terminators trumps the sheer outright power and, well, firepower and sheer presence of a Dreadnought. And a Dreadnought being armor attracts too much attention for, you know, tactical purposes. It has its place on the battlefield, and believe me, I want dreadnoughts, but it's... It's definitely not the... I would still go with a Terminator squad over a freaking uh, dreadnought. And versus each other, I think 9 times out of 10, Terminators would win. The fact that each one of them, by standard, has a power fist, something that's anti-armor by its very nature, and their armor is so much thicker. They do carry, like, the, they don't have, like, rocket launchers or anything. Oh, no, they have, uh, what's that, the Cyclone missile launcher on their back? One of them, with that, would definitely be the Terminator, the Dreadnought's primary target, take them down, because... Load that up with crack missiles and fire it into a dreadnought. You could do a decent amount of damage in a short period of time. But still, once Terminators swarm a dreadnought, their power fists will take it to pieces. If enough of them get close enough. Yes, it will take many of them down. But they'll absolutely decimate it. And if you make it an assault squad of Terminators... That's just all the more devastating in my mind. An assault squad would devastate a dreadnought even more, you know, when they close with it. They can use their storm shields to weather. I mean, it does depend on the kind of weapon it has. A melta cannon would probably be able to punch through 
a uh, storm shield. It might, it might, depending on the quality of the storm shield and whatnot. But a uh, an assault cannon wouldn't. And I feel like an assault squad would be more devastating versus a single dreadnought. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead for the fun of it. Drop in some fireworks. Strangely, no noise all of a sudden. Fear denies faith. Today, the enemy shall know fear. There we go. There's the sound. That it? Oh, it has some life left in it. I thought that would finish it off. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to get up close and personal for that. All right, Grey Knights, in you go. And for fireworks' sake, let's drop that. Oh, and increase manpower earned. And we automatically get a five on it because we reinforced it pretty decently. I'm gonna throw a dreadnought, tactical squads, and I'm gonna call that good. Okay, that way if chaos attacks, or orcs for that matter, we automatically have a defense. Okay, um, you, recon. That's a hellfire dreadnought. That's a pretty dang okay vehicle. But orcs are so freaking aggressive. Taking that by itself is going to be difficult because let's uh, let's recon this. It's not showing me anything more. Okay, the enemy commander is a hardened veteran. Yeah, yeah. The enemy forces uh, likely include elite infantry. The enemy has two bases. That's the killer right there. If you don't eliminate one of the bases really, really quickly. You're done. You're just done. Uh, because they will hit you with so much overwhelming force. And if this is a small map, that's good for if you can get to their base and destroy it quickly. But if you can't, um, they'll just overrun you with sheer freaking numbers. So... And unfortunately, I still don't have increased manpower because I don't know how to get past that glitch, which sucks. I need that territory. All right, let's archive this. The Janus Savannah. The southern edge of the central desert bleeds into the forests and jungles of the tropical belt across the Janus Savannah. Scattered ruins and lonely mining stations dot the region. A wild, lawless frontier that attracts the disenfranchised and hopeless. Rocky outcrop brushland cover the savanna, which bakes under the summer sun. Occasional winter rains create short-lived blooms of wild grasses that quickly dry up and become fodder for the next brush fire. From I Was a Slave to Speed, published on Tashin Newsnet. You feel them coming before anything. A deep rumble travels through the arid ground, sending sand rats scurrying and resonating somewhere in your brain. Danger is coming. A few moments later, the sound starts. The distorted whine of makeshift aerojets and overtax stabilizers like a keening of some predatory bird. By this time, any savannah dweller with a sense is running for cover, loading a weapon, or both. 
Finally, the dust clouds rise above the hills, and black specks appear on the horizon. A mirage, you think, some trick of the heat rising off the baked earth. But in mere moments, what had been smudges in the distance are tons of steel hurtling towards you, just shy of the speed of sound. If you're supremely lucky, you've just had the misfortune to find yourself in the path of a thousand kilometer race. The orcs, ruffians, and twisted outlaws about to run you down won't slow down at any cost. And if you can just get out of their way, they'll be gone just as quickly as they came. But maybe this isn't a race between two madmen. Maybe this is a raid, in which case you had better have that weapon ready. Like the Dark Eldar, pirates from vid stories, raiders descend on mining outposts and farm sheds. Sorry, farmsteads, in search of slaves, wealth, and nasty fun. One for themselves. Uh, sorry. Nasty fun. One gang use nets pulled between speeders to scoop up their victims. Another drops makeshift firebombs in their wake, burning all they don't take for themselves. And then there are the orcs, who ride in their red-painted vehicles wielding fierce blades they use to decapitate the humans and how they run down. Locals defend themselves as best they can. They retreat to bunkers outfitted with weapon slits and try to drive off their tormentors. They build walls and lay razor wire. But the miners of the Jena Savannah are not teams of fire warriors. And every attack claims a few more lives. Ah, uh, Mr. Speakman, do you have a favorite race? abso freaking lootly I do. I do have a favorite race, though I'm not sure I'd call them a race. No, no, they are basically their own species. Uh, the Adeptus Astartes. However, how you see them typically represented in both lore and video game is not what I find to be accurate. Uh, if you've ever read Halo, The Fall of Reach, amazing story, amazing book, and it shows the mentality of what a super soldier is when you raise a child to be a soldier you are making what in my opinion is the ultimate weapon you are making someone who thinks breathes and is war and when you create them and forge them into uh, a super soldier someone who is actually not just mind a super soldier but in body it is the pinnacle of what is a super soldier. There is no better representation of the super soldier than the Astartes. There, if you read the canon, if you go on uh, and you read the canon of what is done to an Astartes to make an Astartes an Astartes, those things are overpowered. And it's rarely that any justice is done to them in the books. Um... Oh, it's, it's genuinely terrifying what one Astartes could realistically do. I'm not saying that they would beat everything. No, there's a crap ton of things out there that would beat an Astartes one-on-one. -on -one, or heck, you know, would beat ten Astartes, etc. Uh, Custodes, for example. Um, the only reason why ten Astartes could take down one Custodes is because Astartes are wolf pack hunters. And because they're in, they may not be as refined or as uh, incredible as the uh, Adeptus Custodes, but the Adeptus Custodes could never wage war. I'm sorry, but the Adeptus Custodes were not made to wage war. They're bodyguards. They're meant to protect the Emperor. Their, tr their creation process and training is even slower than that of Astartes. Astartes are mass producible by comparison, despite how slow it is to make one. I could go on and on and on about Astartes and how absolutely friggin' lootly awesome they are and how they're superior to the Adeptus Custodes because they're more mass producible, because you can win wars with Astartes, where with the Adeptus Custodes, you can win battles. Yeah, the Adeptus Custodes may win you battles here or there. 
um, because they are the elite shock troops of all elite shock troops. But they're not the best. I mean, uh, they're not the best for real war. Because casualties are inevitable. And while if you lose in Astartes, it's a devastating blow. Losing even one space marine, just how long it takes to train them by itself. It takes the better part of a mortal lifespan to fully train an Astartes, which is realistic. Okay, maybe not. It, it takes maybe 10 to 20 years to fully train a full-fledged battle brother, which if you think about it, is kind of insane. They are battle-ready as scouts pretty quickly, before they even have the Black Carapace put in. Because the Black Carapace, most chapters, their scouts don't even have that yet. So that's something that they, uh, as they're growing to the point where their bodies can accept the Black Carapace, um, they're utilized as scouts first, and they are fearsome warriors. But they're not nearly as deadly or as capable as a full-fledged battle brother. Uh, but just comparing it to the Adeptus Custodes, the Astartes are basically mass-producible by direct comparison. Anyway, sorry, tangent. I should have given a tangent warning. That's a dangerous question, Mr. Speakman. <laughs> Don't get me started on Astartes. I love them. I love the concept of them. But they're rarely ever done justice to. There's very few authors who get Astartes right. And I genuinely despise that. I really, really do. Um, the fact that Game, uh, Games Workshop created something truly epic. And then even their elite authors rarely get it right. Is something I absolutely despise. But that's why I'm creating my own universe that will have my own super soldiers. That when I say that they can do something and that they do do that thing, they'll do it. Anyway, sorry, moving on. The Jenna Savannah. Alright, this will be a fearsome battle. Um, my mouse is still having problems. I do not know what the heck is wrong with it. I really wish I did. Um... I just need a new mouse at this point. I think I need to accept that I need a new mouse. If I had an alternate mouse pad, maybe it's just that I haven't cleaned my mouse pad in a while. Maybe that's the problem. I wonder if I had something to test that on really quick. Um... I'm just going to test it on this piece of paper and see what happens. See if I encounter any issues while using this instead. Oh. Okay, so far so good. All right, attack. Space Marines, advance! I don't know where they're going to come from, so offhand, I'm not sure where to even try and defend from. Um, let's just head out here for now. And afterward, you two create power generators. It's a small map. Shoot, it is a small map. We gotta hit hard, we gotta hit fast. I should have uh, looked and realized first. Nothing there. Shoot. I'm surprised they haven't hit my base by now. Orcs are fast. I await your instructions. Yes, Lord. Area secure. I will do as you ask. Where are they? Yes, my lord. Faith Great. is purest when it is unquestioned. Fear denies faith. Onward, Onward. 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 
We have to overwhelm one of their bases very, very quickly. Okay. Come on, guys. Attack. Shoot! Dang, they got to me! Where are my scouts? Where are my scouts? Scouts, run. Run, 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 run. You might just attract them into this force. Okay. I mean, true. I mean, just most people get really tired of me talking about Space Marines pretty quickly. Which is understandable because I really... Once I get started, I just never stop. Darn, 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 get out of... Shoot, no. I'm out of servitors. Wait, am I? No, I've got one servitor left. No, just as the turret is finishing. Whoa. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Come on, what is tying me? Screw this, guys. Get in here. We're losing our base. Awaiting orders. Infiltrating enemy territory. Faith is purest when it is unquestioning. Oh darn, I lost even the servitor out there. Yes, Lord. Initializing build protocol. Can upgrade this one at least. Yes, most beneficent one. I shall obey. Yes, most beneficent one. Oh, shoot! Let the grenade fire. Position secure. Prevent us from getting off. Yes, sir. You, you, you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Your lies counsel belies your years. Space Marines, advance! Okay. To be sure. But it shall be done. Yes, Lord. As you wish. Come on, guys. Keep up with the group. Dang it! Found my scouts. They'll move ahead and mark any enemy positions. Yes, Lord. With all your voice. I await your instructions. Yes, Lord. Initializing great is the purest when it is Ah. You. Yeah, um, build me an armory. Where is my assault marine? There he is. Oh, darn. Shoot. No, don't chase them. Don't chase them. Take this out. You. Assault Marine. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. Come on. In the air. Come on. Any second now. Give it.
Ah, oh, kill that thing. You, where are you? Um... Okay, repair that. Where are you? Okay, get the frag out of there. I don't get you replaced once I lose you. Shoot. Okay, upgrade this. No, guys, fall the frag back. Okay. No, oh, no, no. Dang it. Don't attack a fixed position like that by yourself. Yes, sure. Okay, need more generators. Okay. You guys hold this position. Rejuvenate your numbers. You get the frag over here. Do I have a spare servitor nearby? Okay, you do that. You run over here. Start repairing that dreadnought. Dang it! You know what? Screw it, guys. Just go! Come on. Come on. I should have done this earlier. They wiped out my servitors? Ah. Okay, try to take this out. Okay, these are already paid for. I just need to finish them. It's like, why the frag not? Oh, I just lost the last... Okay, guys. Fall the frag back to this turret. Uh, and I just lost another servitor. Dang it. Yes! Yes, they did their jobs! They did their jobs! Now it's a fair fight! Oh, yeah, 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 you're, out. you're going to go repair him. Um... Don't have the resources for that. Okay, buddy, let's see how you do when you actually have an opponent to face. Oh, not well.
I lost the Reclusi arc. He did his job. He did his freaking job. He got me through. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get into the fight. The enemy is attacking. Here to serve. Okay, let's fortify this location. Whoa, 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 wait a second. No, I still have the Reclusi arc. He's still there. But yeah, he's he's got the circle. He's the Reclusi arc. Yeah! Oh, I, st I, I, I thought I made a chaplain. So I thought I didn't have him anymore. Oh, I still do. My aim shall not falter. By my command, attack. No. Get over there. They can take care of themselves. Okay. Okay, build. Oh, come on. How much? Oh, oh, I had those two reversed. Okay. That's. Okay. Uh, we need a couple more scout squad. Well, I'll settle for one scout squad, considering our straps being strapped for resources at the moment. At your command, gathering intelligence. Okay. Our aim is true. Recluse the Ark, attached to the Grey Knights. Come on, kill them before they finish it. Too late. Ah. At least finish them off. Okay. I'm going to upgrade the scouts with that. Get that processing. Um, don't have that yet. Uh, this. Get that also on the way. Let's upgrade the bionics of space marines. Increase their health. guys building up cool all right that's processing build that up okay Okay, once they actually finish uh, capturing that, I can move them back over and destroy that point. Nice. Alright. And skadoosh. Ah. Oh, dang, Craig Rob, that is. 
That is all kinds of sucky news. Uh, dang it all. I, I guess that means I'm just going to have to bypass uh, for the time being. Okay, guys, I want you to head out here. I want to fortify this location. I don't want to destroy it yet. If I win now, none of my fortifications that I'm even building are going to stick. Excuse me. No, not that. It is better to die for the Emperor than live for yourself. Yes, Lord. Faith is purest when it is under question. Maintain attack formation. Orders received. Yes, okay, you Commencing run out here. I'm going to build some full-fledged Space Marine squads to go and start retaking. Ah. <sighs> Oh, they got too close. Dang it. I am the Emperor's will made manifest. For the Emperor it shall be so. May the Emperor watch over us all. Ever vigilant. Okay. Putting missiles onto this squad, we're going to send them out there to take points. Commencing attack. Taking damage. Okay. Nice. I await your instructions. Even in death, I still see. your sin. command. Okay. Cool. All right, we've taken that. Well, I mean, we've destroyed that, so now we can take the points. Oh, and there's nothing here to fight us. Oh. Dang, I should have just sent the scouts up here. <sighs> I wouldn't call it so awkward, Craig Rob. I mean, you helped research this issue for me. At least now I know that under current circumstances, it can't be resolved because Necrons suck. They suck so bad they even sabotage my game. Alright, you guys. Go take that. Alright. Here to serve. Oh. I accept the challenge. Under fire. Yes, most beneficent one. Okay, that is done. And it'll be a while on that. Yeah, y'all y'all are very dead. Defending objective. 
Yes, my lord. At your command. Strategic point identified. Okay, yeah. where? Not you. Let's yes, see. Lord. You guys start running out there and taking points. Well, fortifying them anyway. Yes, Lord. I exist to serve. Position secure. Taking heavy fire. Where did. Oh, dang it, you! Get out there! Consolidating position on the objective. I exist to serve. Position secure. Ah, oh, get out there. And you're dead. Yes, my lord. Attacking as ordered. Come on. Here to serve. Yes, lord. These Here points won't stay. Protocol. That I acknowledge, but whatever. I'll fortify them anyway. Getting into position. <laughs> You know what? This one is going to remain anti-infantry. Your wise counsel belies your years. Bless the mind too small for doubt. Faith is purest when it is unquestioning. Okay, upgrade. You to serve. Initializing build protocol. What's your order? This. Oh, yes. Bill the Termies. Really? Oh, I need more generators. As your command, none shall stop us. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Yes. Come on. These guys I'm going to keep as mobile. Just want to build them up now. These guys I'm just going to send in. Okay, build up. You, go ahead and get me some dreadnoughts on the way. You, start doing that. Oh, nothing here. Okay. Mm. Scouts in position. This is danger. We will root it out. This one will be our Laz Cannon Predator. Upgrade. I await your instructions. I exist to serve. Alright, you. Yes, Lord. I'm actually going to have you run out here, build that really quick. What other servitors do I have that are free? 
Do that. Where? Oh, yeah, work on that. I think that's everything. Okay. Oh! Reporting. I love that line. Faith is purest when it is unquestioning. By the Emperor, it shall be so. Apologetic in position, infiltrating enemy territory. The shall be forever remembered as, as the Emperor's finest. Fear denies faith. Understood. Cleanse, purge, kill. I await your instructions. I shall obey. As you wish. Scouts in position. Okay, that is now under construction. You guys are done, so get you into reserve. Yes, sir. Position secure. I await your instructions. Carry me to battle. I am the instrument of his will. Apologetic ready. Deep striking. What are your needs? Yes, most beneficent one. One of you run over here, build that. The other one, one down here. Okay. Better start building that. You two start mass producing generators. Okay. That'll seriously help out power-wise. Those two are under construction. You're getting that done. You're going to be building that. And I want you to head over here. Uh -oh. oh. Alright, head over here. Alright, what else do we have? Um, don't need you there, actually. Okay. You run down there, begin helping him construct those. You run over here. This guy. Yes, Lord. Yes, most beneficent one. Oh, I get it. I know. Here to serve. I know now. Upgrade. What are what is left? The enemy is attacking. You're dead. Here to serve.
Right there. Okay. That is upgrading there. They're building turrets down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good. Once uh, this base is built, that'll give me the power and turrets that I want. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. To hold this territory. Okay, and it appears that is all for there. So we're just waiting on the completion of a few more buildings. And you, let's take you in there and have a little bit of fun. For the Emperor, I shall not fail. For Terra. I shall not fail. Do any of you know where I can find the camera zoom mod? I can't find it anywhere now. I honestly, when it comes to mods for Dawn of War, I'm actually not familiar with them at all. I don't know of any mods for Dawn of War. Okay, they are almost done there. I shall obey. I will do as you ask. Okay, you fellas. Go ahead and run up here and build me some more power generators. Initializing the protocol. With all your base. Initializing the protocol. Okay. I await your instructions. Build routine seven to one initiated. What the heck? With all your haste, I will do as you ask. Cool, all right, upgrade that. Oh, oops. Ah, uh, didn't even mean... I didn't even... Oh, well. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. I still reinforced it very, very heavily. And let's throw a Dreadnought on and three Tactical Squads. Mm. And we lost our two Tactical Units. And our Assault Marine, apparently. I thought he survived. They must have raided my base again. But we're now building up a decent Entourage. The Hellfire Dreadnought does supply some much needed firepower. Okay. Overall, I don't think there's anything left to do there, so end the turn. I'm going to save it first in case there's any more freaking glitches. Ugh. Um. It, it is a beast of a machine. I feel like the game, the Dawn of War games don't do justice to it, though. Missiles are a very, very weak thing in the Dawn of War series. Honestly, I prefer either last cans or anti-infantry stuff. Missiles are just pathetic, unless they're on infantry. The infantry missiles are actually pretty okay. The Tau got driven back again. Cool. If... If the Imperial Guard attacks the Oristine Plains, I'm just going to let them win. That way, hopefully, they'll then attack the uh, Industrial Complex. And then I can take it from them. I would be so freaking ecstatic if they did that. 
All right, let's fight. Okay, you... Why are they just standing there? Oh, they killed the Harlequin before she could become all, all those turrets. The moment the Harlequin came in and tried to do her thing, she would have been gunned down horribly. Oh. Hate Harlequins. Friggin' hate Harlequins. Okay, where is... There it is. Alright, repair those. I shall obey. I shall obey. Your wise counsel belies your years. Oh. Okay, that was weird. I thought they were already wiped out. Build that. And build this. Oh, yeah, you guys hop back in there. Okay. Okay. We should be able to load uh, with frag or cracks, as in tabletop. Agreed. So against troopers, you can count on more than disruption. Oh my gosh, you are so right. You are so right. It should be like a weaker version of the librarian smite in the amount of... It should do amount... When it's a frag missile, 
It should strike, do amount of uh, area of effect damage. Probably weaker than a frag missile, at least against armored units. And then versus, uh, you know, armored, yeah, it's immediately the moment a, a missile launcher targets an armored unit, it switches to crack missiles and begins firing uh, those instead. It, simple to the point. By the Emperor, it shall be so. She's dead. She does a backflip when she dies. The Eldar have to be graceful, even in death. Preserved. All right, my turn again. So the orcs took this. I don't particularly want that. It's not particularly useful to me. This, oh, librarian. He'll be really, really squishy, but he will I start. It, it's an automatic smite. Having smite right out the gate is pretty good. Uh, could be they didn't do that for balancing issues. They wanted their rock, paper, scissors mechanic intact. Well, all, like, all the units, like, the, these missile launchers, whether it be frag or crack, would work no matter which of the um, races use them. So, I don't know. Missiles are just so pathetically weak. I wish I could just never opt for them. Except on infantry. When my space marines load up missiles, their missiles are actually damaging and dangerous. And I like their missiles. I don't like anybody else's. <clears throat> so I'm tempted to take this from Chaos. That's also a temptation to take from Chaos. I would like to, a first company veteran. There's another first company veteran. Getting up all of those things would really, really freaking help. And if the Imperial Guard would just freaking take the Oristine Plains, I would be so freaking ecstatic. If they then moved on and took the Vandian Coast. Because I can't. Stinking Necrons. Heck, if the Imperial Guard took went for the spaceport, I'd let them have it, because then they could skip the Oristine Plains and go straight for the Vandian Coast. Like, whichever one they want to go for, as long as they take it from the stinking Necrons, I'd be pretty freaking happy. Anyway, though, um, my mouse is now actually working fine, so I'm assuming my mouse wasn't the issue. I'm assuming that I uh, just haven't uh, maintenanced my mouse pad in ages. So I either need a new mouse pad or maybe if I just washed it, it would be fine. I don't know. But this is this mouse pad I've had upwards of five years. And yes, I've washed it numerous times in that time. I have. It's just uh, been a while since the last time. But this mouse pad is falling apart. Need a new one. Why am I talking about this so much in depth? ADHD is fun, folks. It's fun. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today. Um, as I got a few other things I need to do today, I may live stream again tomorrow. I would like to, I may end up posting a poll later, either today or tomorrow, asking people if they would like me to finish the total war, uh, Warhammer campaign with Carl Franz and all that. 
And also, I just barely purchased Diablo 2 Remastered. So if anybody's interested in that, that will be part of the poll. Or if they just like to see me continue with this campaign. And oh my freaking gosh, has this campaign suffered glitches. Ah. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Terminator. Terminator for the wins. Double Terminator. I love Terminators. Or uh, Tactical Dreadnought Armor, as it is called. D some versions... Because the Terminator armor they have in this game is actually the weakest version of Terminator armor. Kregorov and uh, Mr. Speakman, if you have not seen uh, Mark Sparks' Death of Hope, oh, watch it from beginning to end. Watch it in sequence. There's this moment where Cataphracty, one of the most powerful versions of Terminator armor, are walking down the street. This is during Horus Heresy time, so they're walking down the street to duke it out with some uh, Chaos Space Marines. And there's a moment where uh, one of the Cataphracty gets hit with like a missile or something. He's like, you hear him um, grunt from the impact. And then he just, you know, goes right back to normal and begins marching again. And it's seen from the perspective of this human woman who's been running away with her baby. And she's looking at them as she slows to a walk, staring at them, just like, holy frad. So even though she's running away from the word bearers and these are ultramarine cataphracty that are protecting her, she still kind of like slows down and stops in awe as she stares at them. Uh, and then in the next moment, you hear the uh, Terminator say, Your fight is with me, traitor. And that line still gives me chills. The voice work in Death of Hope is some of the best in any series. Uh, you know, fan-made Warhammer 40k series. I'd recommend Death of Hope to anyone. And in my opinion, Death of Hope outdoes any other Warhammer 40k fan-made animation. Period. Like, I haven't seen one even get up to its level. Astartes was good. Don't get me wrong. Astartes was good. Death of Hope was better. Anyway, uh, see you soon. All right, Kregrov, I will be seeing you later. Um, I've the first games... Oh, you... Whoa, the first rulebook? 80 stuff uh, since you were a child. Oh, my fragging Terra. That is old. Um... Didn't like it and all. English didn't help. Oh, you didn't like it all back then? But still, having something like that, that's just legendary. Having something so old. Tabletop-wise, um, I have one of the older Predators. <sighs> Covered in dust now. Um, <sighs> this is one of the older uh, Space Marine model tanks. It's missing the dozer blade in front. And uh, the Hunter Seeker missile, it recently broke off. I've got to glue that back on. But it would go right there. It looks like a freaking harpoon gun. The Hunter missiles from back in the day looked like harpoon guns. But that was their art style. And oh my gosh, was it amazing. This is the 1997 version. And the reason why I know that is because when I took this thing apart and I did it in a, a video format, I stripped this thing down, stripping away all the paint, all the nasty gunked up, built up glue. And then I put it back together. Um, I don't know if I did it in video format where I recorded a video of putting it back together, but at least breaking it down I did. And yeah, this is one of their older models. I have a magnet up here for when I have a storm bolter mounted for pintle mount. And uh, yeah, I am so like when I take this to games, people don't know what it is. They're like clueless. And I have to tell them this is an old Space Marine 1997 Predator. And this thing is only seven years younger than me. But I'm just, I'm so happy to have gotten such a relic from a bygone time. I, I shouldn't call it bygone per se, but I don't know if bygone is the right word. But I love it. I absolutely freaking love it.
Anyway, uh, you are welcome, Mr. Speakman. And, uh, yeah, y'all have an awesome freaking day. I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Depends on what goes on and how much I managed to get done today. But, yeah, don't y'all be getting into too much trouble out there? Or do? It's always up to you. Toodles, Legionists.